It is always great catching up with my next guest, Armin Saryukin, who's going to be back in action taking on Mateos Gamrot at UFC Fight Night, June 25th. Armin, how are you, sir? Hi, I'm good. Thank you very much. I'm very excited for my next fight. Yes, and finally, we're on the same time zone. Uh, you're in Las Vegas right now. Well, what prompted that decision to train in Las Vegas for this camp? I stayed, I stayed here after my fight. Uh, I decided because uh, I want to fight, you know, like very quick, you know, like three, four times a year. And that's why I stayed here. And um, they, they offered me fight in uh, ma- March. Mm-hmm. But um, they, they couldn't fight opponent. And that's why um, now I stayed more than like I thought. But mm-hmm. it's okay, you know, like good experience to be here. Um, I, I found good I got good gyms, you know, and uh, UFC performance is good place. They take care of us, you know, fighters, and uh, it's good. That's great. That, that's awesome. Uh, do you know, like, was it just a regular fight? Uh, you know, that, that fight that you were trying to get, was it a main event or was it just a regular uh, fight? Like, do you, do you know any details of that fight you were supposed to have? Um, probably it's going to be main event. Yeah. Okay. And any yeah. opponents that, that were thrown out then? What was Mate- Mateos in the mix at all then? Or was it just, were there other opponents that, that they were talking about? No, I mean, uh, it's not like 100% is going to be my, uh, my event, but my manager said, like, uh, you got to be ready for five rounds. Okay, so that's my question for this fight. We are hearing rumblings that this is a five-round fight, is it? Can you confirm that? They said, like, it's going to be a call cool many event. But like a few weeks ago, or a few, yeah, a few weeks ago, my manager said like it's probably gonna be main event. That's why now I changed my trainings. You know, I started to like more than uh, I did before, and uh, you know, like game plan to we gotta like have a more patient during the fight. You know, mm-hmm. it's like. A little bit different game. So we know this is going to be a five-round fight, um, but you don't know if you're the main event yet. Is that correct? I uh, I still waiting for like official, you know. Right, but the yeah. but the contract says five rounds, right? Uh, not yet, not yet. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it might be five rounds. We don't yeah, know yet. Might, okay, might be, yeah, might be five rounds, but because like uh, I think six six weeks left, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah. For sure. Well, that that must be a little frustrating because obviously if you end up training for five rounds and it's not five rounds, it's kind of, you know, tough on your body, I would think. Do all the time, like five rounds, everything, maybe six rounds. Wrestling, I do seven rounds, you know. Mm -hmm. Like for me, it's like uh, I've been doing this like since like six years ago, you know, like. Yeah. And uh, that's why for me, I'm used to, you know, like five rounds for me better than three rounds, you know. No, I just I agree. I'm I'm gonna well, like warm up, you know, like two rounds, and then, yeah, um, five rounds is good. It's gonna be good experience for me, you know, because I gotta be ready for title fight, you know. Of course, yeah, I think it's great experience, and plus it looks good in the rankings if you have a five round fight instead of a three round fight. Um, let me ask you this though: just looking at the card now, I would assume you are the main event. Uh, what fight do you think would headline over you? It doesn't really make any sense unless they're going to put another fight on that card. But uh, I would think you must feel pretty good about being the main event because I think you're the best fight on the card. Yeah, yeah, uh, I think so too. We're mm-hmm. gonna be main event. Come main event is probably gonna be uh, Shavkat Rakhmonov. And Neil Magny, yeah, that's another good fight, yeah. Yeah, probably it's not a bad fight, and uh, yeah, but actually, I, uh, I haven't seen like um, my fight card because it's not official all fights, you know. Right. Still. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll send you a link after because they have most of the card filled out. I know not all of it's official, but yeah, you know, you know they, you know they have a bunch of matchups. For sure. I was going to say, that's why I'm here. I'm here to help you out. Yeah. So there you go. It's all good. Um, one thing I was curious about uh, with your opponent, uh, did you two ever train together at American Top Team? Because I know you were there uh, last year uh, for a bit. No, we never trained together. And okay. uh, But I heard he left ADT now for for months, you know. Okay. He came back. Uh, he went back to uh, Polish for training. Poland, yeah. yeah, Poland, sorry. Uh, I know why. Maybe 
he has a good wrestlers, freestyle wrestler there. That's why he knows I'm gonna shoot him, you know, and uh, he gotta be ready for my wrestling. And right. uh, that's why but I don't know why he he left. Uh, he left ATT, mm. but if I knew that before, probably um, I would like to have training camp there, you know. Right. Well, I, I was going to ask you about that. Why did you decide to train in Las Vegas instead of going to American Top Team? Because I know you had trained the, there before. Uh, because um, when I signed contract, um, Gamrot, he was there in ATT. He trained oh, okay. there. And that's why I said it's no point, you know, like to go there yeah, to see each other, you know, like uh, do sparring, you know, like it's yeah. like, I don't know. And... Um, I got not bad like teams uh, like coaches here, you know, like conditional coach, boxing coach, like MMI coach, you know, a, a lot of fighters here in in Vegas, and um, I'm okay here too, and uh, I feel great. I have a good schedule, you know, like um, a lot of grapp uh, like grapplers here, and uh, I mean uh, all is. Is, is going is going good, you know, and um, mm. I'm very happy. Uh, PI is a good place too, especially. I was gonna say, stuff. having the PI there is a big bonus, yeah. right? Because you get the yeah. food, you get the PT, you get everything, yeah. right? It's a, and you don't yeah. have to pay for it. Yeah, it's like I almost uh, I don't spend money, you know, like just like eat here, you know, recovery here, train here. That's it. Just pay yeah. for it and that's it. And your manager lives there too, so you can probably get to see him every every, every uh, once in a while. Yeah, right? I, I just moved from my from my manager. I I, I lived in his house, you know, mm. um, because my friends from LA came wrestlers. They came for help me, you know. I need a lot of wrestling. They're they're a world champion, European champion, you know, Greco Roman freestyle wrestling. Mm -hmm. And this fight, uh, this fight, you know, I gotta be ready for all situation i mean on the ground on the striking you know like everywhere and uh, you know like i want to improve everywhere absolutely My... and it looked like you got a full camp for this fight when did you find out it seemed like you got a, a full full uh, full amount of time for the fight you know after my after my last fight i just started training hard you know and mm. uh, I, I have been doing since my fight you know almost I I haven't had three days, you know, like, and uh, I train all day, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, like it's very long camp, you know, almost four months, you know, and uh, they told me like March and then May and then uh, uh, like beginning June, uh, June, June, mm -hmm. and then like. And at the end of June, you know, like <clears throat> almost five five months, you know, I'm gonna be here in 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 US. Let's talk about your opponent, twenty and one record. How do you feel like you match up against him from a style perspective? He's very good fight for me. He's a ranking guy, and uh, he he's confident, you know. He he doesn't scare, you know, fights, and uh, he just. He, he want uh, he is like me you know his man he wanna fight with everybody and um, but uh, he he knows like uh, I'm very like bad matchup for him you know mm -hmm. and uh, I have a lot of more experience than him in U in UFC I had a uh, like more fights I have more fights here and uh, I had I I had like more like. Uh, like tough fights, you know, and tough opponents. He has just first fight, good fight, you know, but he lost that fight. And then three fights, he he beat like, like, you know, easy fights, you know. Okay. I mean, yeah, but if if you see like who beat I, and uh, it's like different, you know. Yeah, no, I, I understand that for sure. Um, you talked about training camp. Who have been some of your main training partners for this camp in, in Las Vegas? I mean, uh, I can say just one, you know, like mm -hmm. I have a lot of this fight. It's like, 
Uh, a lot of different guys, you know, help me. Sydney K Gym helps me a lot, you know, and uh, a lot of fighters. There are there are a lot of like UFC fighters. Some different okay, well, just fighters. just name a few. Like, who are some of the names that you get to work with? Maybe not you work with them all the time, but who are some of the names that we I, might I, remember? I don't want to say just name. Sorry, but oh, okay, know. no worries. No, no, that's fine. Yeah, you yes. don't want to you don't want to forget anyone. Yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, okay, they they just help me. John, coach, like head coach, he helps me a lot too, and. Uh, <clears throat> Actually, I, I'm okay, you know, I'm lucky to get the gym and the, I trained there. Okay, uh, sorry, just to clarify there, you said John Wood's helping you, the, the coach at Syndicate? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, great. So probably some of the fighters from there, I would think, uh, yeah. training partners, right? Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Uh, that That's awesome. And let me ask you this, is the weight cut easier this time around because you have the prepared meals, right? You can just go to the PI and they can monitor your weight. Has, have you found the weight cut easier this time? Uh, Yeah, for sure, it's going to be easier, you know, like... <clears throat> I'm not I'm not at home, you know, my mom not, she doesn't cook for me like <laughs> like before. You know, Armenian meat, Armenian food is very like heavy, you know, like a lot of breads, meat, like some uh, yeah, but here I eat just clean food, you know, and train three mm-hmm. times two times a day and um, I hope like my weight is going to be good, you know, but I never had I've never like I just I just had one time problem with my weight and I know because of because of what, you know, and uh, I had a mistake, but uh, I'm professional, you know, like I know my body, I know how I, I have to eat, you know, to cut weight and uh, I have a nutritionist too, you know, That's like good. all is going good, my weight good, my like uh, now I'm focusing for my fight, you know, for my training camp, like mm-hmm. a lot of details, you know, like some tricks. Um, yeah, that's great. And and it must be way easier because, I mean, the fight's just down the street from you, right? Like you don't have to travel to take this fight because it's going to be at the apex, right? Yeah, just now I see apex here. You know, like, there you go. Nice. Yeah. This is probably the closest you fought uh, to where you're yeah. living and training, right? I just, just I'm, I go out apex. Just do sparring, get my money, and yeah. fly back, you know? Like, yeah, it's easy. pretty nice. Yeah. It's great. I like it. It's a good place, you know, especially if you're a UFC fighter. Do you see yourself staying here beyond this training camp? Do you think you'd ever move here or do most of your camps in Vegas? Um, in the future, you mean? Yeah, in the future, yeah. Yeah, probably, yes. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, I want to come here, train here, but... ATT is my gym too, you know, and uh, I like to be there because, you know, like it's big gym. I live yeah. there, I eat there, I train there, you know, I don't need a car, some like uh, go somewhere, waste time. Anyway, in in Vegas, I have a car, I gotta like drive like 15 minutes to get train, PI, you know, like, and uh, everywhere has... Uh, you know, some points, good points, bad points, you know, but um, I like three plays now, like Vegas, Miami, and Russia. Good good spots for sure. Um, who's going to be in your corner for this fight? I imagine John Wood will be in your corner? Yeah, John John Wood, he's going to be my corner. Mate, uh, I want to say Mateusz Gamrat. <laughs> <laughs> Not him, you're fighting him, but yes. Yeah, Parumpa, my, my coach, he's my... Um, grappling coach you know and uh, mm-hmm. uh, he was like since my what no, since my first fight in US in US no since second second fight in UFC mm-hmm. and uh, he knows me you know he push he pushed me like what I gotta do you know and uh, and uh, he's coming so, soon to help me uh to, to give me some advice you know like to and uh, and my boxing coach roman he was okay. last last time with me too and uh yeah it's great if it's gonna be my event i got someone i get someone more um, maybe your manager i know he does some cornering too right yeah uh saya yeah yeah saya yeah for sure that's yeah. great um so I know that's crazy. I think people forget that it's uh, pretty incredible. So that's it's good to have that knowledge in the corner, which is great. I think like brown belt. In yeah. BGJ. Yeah. That's good to have. 
Um, how do you see the fight playing out on June 25th? How do you see the fight going down? Uh, actually, I would like to fight like uh, more than three rounds. Mm -hmm. Honestly, you know why? Because I haven't had like experience more than three rounds. Mm -hmm. I wanted to to like beat him in maybe fourth round and uh, to stop him like KO and uh, I know like it's gonna be good KO. I I'm uh, I have been doing this like kick since like two years or three years, but I never throw in during the fight and. This fight is gonna be first time when I throw that kick, you know, and it's gonna be like surprising, you know. Okay, so we're expecting a kick, kind of like Michael Chandler and Tony Ferguson, right? We didn't expect that. Yeah, but more like more more like better. More better. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. That makes sense. If this ends up being a main event and you end up beating Gamrot in a main event, that looks great for the division. Do you feel like a win gets you one step closer to a title shot? I would think you're you're getting in that conversation pretty soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna beat the Gamrot now, and uh, probably in October I would like to fight again with someone from top five, mm -hmm. and that's it. Like next beginning next year, I wanna get title shot, or maybe after Gamrot, if uh, if someone like uh, could not fight like on title, I'm gonna be ready, and you okay. know. I'm gonna train every day, and uh, but you know, like I'm now, I'm I'm focusing for my fight. You know, Gamrot. Of course, yeah. He, no, no, of course. You're fighter. not looking past him. It's yeah. just we're we're sort of but, talking about the, the, the implications. Plan, you know, my plan. I'm planning like do like fight fight twice a year, like mm -hmm. Gamrot and someone else, and that's it. Like to get title shot. Absolutely. Um. How many more fights do you have left on your contract? I was curious about that. Uh, three more. Three more three fights. More. Okay, uh, great. I, I would like to change after Gamrot fight, and I'm going to like ask my manager or matchmaker because... Right, I mean, if it's a main after, event, that's a, that's a lot yeah. of leverage, right? If you win yeah. a main event, that, that's a big deal, right? Yeah, after Gamrot, I got to change my contract and make a lot of money. Right, okay. Uh, that's great. And, um, uh, house in uh, Vegas. There you go. You got it all planned out. Um, one name that we're hearing is coming back to your division, it looks like, is Dan Hooker. I know there was sort of some talk about you and him before. Uh, is that a fight that would ever interest you, or maybe not because of the losing streak? No, no. He's, he's now he's not a good fighter. You know, before, yes, uh, he lost his last two or three fights, you know, and uh, he beat some someone from unranking guys, you know, guy, you know, like, uh, what's his name? Nasrat. He beat yeah. Nasrat, yeah, that's Nasrat, right. Yeah. Yeah. Nasrat, and uh, he's not interesting for me, you know, because it's it wastes time to beat him, you know, just if I beat him, oh, they said, oh, like, he has a tool, uh, tool, uh, tool, you know, like, he lost. He's like, lost two of his last three or something, or three five. of his last four, I can't remember. Yeah, it's yeah no I understand. Point to beat him now okay another name i know you've been linked to as well uh he just made a bit of news last week is gregor gillespie i don't know if you saw they've removed him from the rankings because of i think inactivity uh what did you think of that that he's having a hard time getting a fight now you know if i beat if i be uh if i when i beat not if when i beat camera like they they gonna want to fight with me you know but i'm gonna say him like this you know <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I agree because you're, you're, I mean, you're going to be fighting in a main event here potentially. Yeah. And, you know, again, you've been very active. I, I can understand it. That's that's the problem, unfortunately, is that he just hasn't, uh, Gillespie just hasn't fought that much. So he doesn't have a lot of leverage. Yeah. So. The, uh, I mean, in my division, it's going to be like, you know, uh, you didn't say about like Rafael Dos Anjos from uh, versus uh, Rafael. Yeah. It's going to be a good fight, you know. Mm hmm. And uh, they're both good, both good, you know. Yeah. Uh, um, who is who else? I don't know what what is doing uh, Tony Ferguson in number nine. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about the rankings. It's it's weird, right? Because I mean, Ferguson just got knocked out, so I I don't know. Yeah, it, the, the, there oh, could be a lot of. Lost. 
Yes, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. he has a name, you know. He's all right. Like that's why. But I think he gotta, you know, stop his career. Okay. Um, what do you think about, or what did you think about Charles Oliveira defeating Justin Gaethje, submitting him in the first round? How impressed were you by his his victory? Uh, you know, it, it was like I didn't know that uh, uh, Gaethje, like he doesn't have grappling, you know, zero grappling. I mean, when he when uh, Charles took his neck, you know, he just stay you know he just stayed and uh, he he didn't move you know and uh, i don't know like if you're gonna fight like with uh charles Oliveira, you gotta like know about jiu-jitsu more than you know mm -hmm. than enough okay yeah. that, that's fair enough um yeah now, in terms of what's next, obviously there's no champion because Oliveira missed weight, so he's going to have to fight someone for a vacant title. Do you think it should be Islam Mahashev next? What What do you think is going to be next for Charles Oliveira? No, I don't think so. I'm going. I think like um, Islam going to fight with uh, Darius. Okay, and then the winner of that will fight yeah. Oliveira. You think? Okay. Yeah, uh, because Islam beat like uh, last fight. No, Bobby Green. Uh, Bobby Green, he's not ranking, you know, and uh, yeah, for sure, it, it it's not his bad, you know, um, but still, you know. Right. I, just yeah. just a, sort of a hypothetical question, though. Uh, if Islam and Charles were to fight at some point, who would you favor in that fight? Because some people feel like Islam could beat Charles Oliveira. Yeah, probably. No, not probably. He beat, he beat uh, Charles Oliveira, Oliveira. You think so? Okay. Yeah, sure. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, Islam... For example, Charles uh, Gage knocked, knocked, knocked him out like uh, twice during the mm -hmm. fight, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, he didn't go underground, you know. But Islam, he will go, you know, and me too. Because he it doesn't, it doesn't scare of his grappling. Um, if you were to fight Charles Oliveira, how would you defeat him? Because he's obviously very good. He's got great stand-up. He's got a really good ground game as well. If you were to fight him right now, and again, I know you're not looking past Gamron. I'm asking you the question. How do you look at that fight from a style perspective, you and Charles Oliveira? Uh, I can beat, like, everywhere, you know? Like, on the ground, on the striking, you know? He, he doesn't have good striking, I mean... He's not he's not like high level striker. He's op he's open like a lot of a lot of time he's open, you know. A lot of fighters knocked him out all like all time. First round especially. He has a not good chin, you know, and uh, uh like everywhere I think. I, I, I think I can like knock him out. Okay. I like the honesty there. Okay, my last question. Um, you mentioned being in Vegas. Um, has Did your manager ever hook you up with tickets to go see the Las Vegas Golden Knights, the hockey team? Because I don't know if you've seen any live hockey, but it's it's awesome in Las Vegas. Did you did you get to go at all? Yeah, I've already been there. And, uh, you did? How was it? Did yeah. you like it? Yeah, I liked it a lot because I used to be a hooker, you know that. I know, this is, we always talk, I'm probably the yeah. only guy who asks you about hockey because I'm Canadian yeah. and I love hockey, so how was, yeah. it, it was cool to yeah, get to go? Yeah, I, I was there and I liked a lot and uh, I want to go more. Good. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, that that time, like, they lost. And, right. But, but still, you know, uh, it's, you know, like, I, I, I like that feeling to be there, you know. It's so much fun. I, I went a couple of years ago uh, to see the Knights play. It, they have an amazing atmosphere there with the game. And it's, yeah, yeah they're, it's such a good time. Like if anyone's watching this, you got to go see a Las Vegas Golden Knights game. It's so much fun, right? Yeah, for sure. If uh, someone come to Las Vegas, they got to go to watch the uh, like. There you okay. go. Okay. I love it. It's a good endorsement. Did you get to meet Robin Lehner, the goaltender? Because I know your manager's friends with him. And I know Robin's also trained a bit at Syndicate. Did you ever meet the goaltender, Robin Lehner? No. No? Oh, you got to get on your manager about that. Because Robin, I know he's uh, Robin Lehner. He trains a bit of MMA and he uh, is the starting goaltender for the Knights. I don't know if you knew that. No, I didn't know that. But oh, there you go. You got to get on him. I, so. I'm going to ask my manager. 
There you go. You do it after this. Armin, thanks so much for doing this. I know it's the weekend. I know you probably want to get some uh, relaxed time, so I appreciate the time. If there's anyone you want to thank, any sponsors, any social media you want to plug, I'll give you the last word. I want to say all my sponsors, thank you very much for supporting me, for believing me, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, thank you all my followers who support me, and uh, I'm going to I'm gonna be champion, so 